Good morning, Guardians, and welcome to another Arms Day loadout with your favorite Guardian here, Zeus Fury Omega. Here we are, once again in the tower, chatting it away with Banshee44. And let's see what he brought us this week for our weapon orders. Hopefully, some good rolls, because last week was very poor. There was not that. I think there was only one good gun last week. Alright, first up, we got the Searles ARI 41 auto rifle. Let's see rank one. Let's see the perks and sights it comes with. All right, we got SLO 19, SPL 26, SRL 37. All right, this one comes with high caliber rounds, feather mags, speed reload, hand laid stock, and focus fire. <laughs> I would say hand laid stock on this is. Unbelievable, max out the stability. You may lose the range, but you can gain a little bit back with uh, high caliber rounds. But the one perk that hurts this rifle is focus fire. It, it will do more harm than good. With a high rate, low impact, you really need the, the bullet hose effect with this one. So we'll pass on that. Let's check out rank 2. Alright, rank 2 comes with SLO 19, SPL 26, SRO 37. This one also comes with fitted stock or appendage magazine, snapshot, rifle barrel, and unflinching. Not bad, has great uh, base stats, but having rifle barrel with a little bit of boost with fitted stock and unflinching, this could be a decent PvE rifle. Hmm. Put that in the back burner. Let's check out rank 3. We've got the SLO 12 sights. SPL 26 again. Where's the SPL 28 sight? That's the one sight we need. SPL 57. Not bad. This beautiful baby comes with high caliber rounds, casket mag, speed reload, small bore, and spray and play. Actually, this one's somewhat... Decent spray and play with a small bore and high caliber rounds. This could be a decent PVE. PVE have a little bit of stagger with a high caliber rounds, <laughs> boost in range of stability with a small bore, spray and play, give you a quick uh, reload, uh, boost in the uh, reload speed when the mag's empty. It's not bad. I'm leaning towards rank 3 for this one. Maybe rank 2 as well, but they're all decent just to play around with. Alright, let's check out the Searles PDX-41. Some of these awesome pulse rifles I love. Alright, SLO-19, SBO-26, SRO-37 for the sights. And let's see, perfect balance, not bad, oil frame, zen moment, speed reload, and injection mold. Stability, 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 not bad. But you lose a little bit in range. Beautiful stability on this one. Let's check out the other two. Rank numero dos. Got SLO 19. There we go. SPO 28. That's a good step in the right direction. SRO 41. And this bad boy comes with Hammer Forge, Casket Mag, Spray and Play, Speed Reload, and Rifle Barrel. Not bad. Running with Rifle Barrel. You got your increase in reload speed. You got Hammer's Forge to improve range and accuracy. Plus target acquisition. This could be one badass. Pulse rifle and stability is it's good has a good amount of stability on there but having this boost in range you could really get out there and reach somebody in the distance it's looking promising let's see rank three we got SLO 19 SPO 28 again that's a plus one to this gun already SRO SRO 41 Game tongue tied already. 
This bad boy comes with fitted stock, oil frame, secret round, lightweight, and hand laid stock. Oh my gosh. This thing could have... Yeah. 100% stability. Max stability with secret round target acquisition. Oh, I definitely got to mess around with this one. You may take a little sacrifice in range, but it may be worth it. Ooh. Two and three are awesome, but that perfect stability on the third one, I'm definitely picking that up. Yeah. Next up, we got the Tunella SR4. We got the Scout Rifle. All right, all right, all right. We got the Sparks Torch. And Impulse. Torch is a good site because it has that improved target acquisition. Uh, triple Tap, Lightweight, Feather Mag, Firefly, and Danger Close. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really like the Triple Tap and Firefly. Hmm. Let's see. We got Candle, Flash, and Impulse MS2. We got Replenish, Single Point Sling, Casket Mag, Firefly, and Danger Close. Let's see, rank 3. Spark IS-6, Flash HS-4, Impulse MS-2. We got Rescue Mag, Snapshot, Feather Mag, Third Eye, and Underdog. Hmm... So one of these two remind me of a, of a Tunella from last week. I'm trying to remember which one that was. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm I'm leaning to this triple tap, lightweight and firefly. Hmm. Just looking at the perks, uh, there's nothing that really stands out. If this one didn't have uh, something other than the replenish, I would run it with a casting mag, increase that mag size, firefly, danger close. If it only had the 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 torch sight from the other one on this one, improved target acquisition, it would be a more than a semi decent scout rifle. I'm thinking you may have to pass this week on these. Just grab one for um, parts and marks. Scrap it. Alright, we got two more to review. They're on the Warlock. I kind of wish they never changed it so we could just get all the freaking orders on one character. Scoozy, scoozy. I enjoy those little fly-ins. But I like to say, if you like what you guys see, please, please leave a like, 
share, leave me a comment, see what improvements you'd like to see, or what you guys want to, uh, like a special video or something to do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, click on the little bell, be part of the notification squad. And join me on more of these fun little videos and rants. Alright. Back at it again. Right now we got the Artemis D auto rifle. Alright, we got the GA post sights with the LC, run, uh, LC range sights. And this bad boy comes with relentless tracker, counterbalance, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, and small bore. This is promising. Small bore with counterbalance. You got the stability range, but you lose a little bit of the mag, but I will take that loss. And you have counterbalance, so you just have the upward um, the upward kick. No more side action with the counterbalance. But I would change out Relentless Tracker with any other perk. Anyway, this one's, this one seems decent with the stability and the boost in range of stability with the small bore. Small bore? Yeah, small bore. Countermass. So rank 1's looking promising. Let's see rank 2. Anything better? We got the GB iron sights with the LB assault. We got last resorts, fitting frenzy, high caliber round, speed reload, and brace frame. Not bad. Brace frame for stability, fitting frenzy for that reload speed. And we got last resort. Hmm. We'll leave that on the back burner for now. Let's check out the other one. We got GA post sights, SD thermal. We got hot swap, range finder, single point sling, speed reload, and small bore. We got stability and range, stability range, and another kind of uh, underwhelming perk. Somewhat decent, one and three. Excuse me, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. But I'm actually liking rank 1, even though it has a relentless tracker, you get that extra bonus to the radar thing. Just having counterbalance and fitted, uh, fitted stock, small bore, and high caliber rounds. You can switch into these three into different situations, but I probably will mainly run for, for the small bore and counterbalance. Definitely going to pick this one up. Alright, the Coyotes SR4 scout rifle. Let's see what you got. You got the Cano, Torch I, the Torch HS2. That one has an improved target acquisition sights. That's a good one. Impulse. This one comes with Rescue Mag, Quick Draw, Small Bore, Third Eye, and Eye of the Storm. Not bad. But I, I can't remember if it drops it from 12 to 10 or 9 rounds in the mag. I think it drops it 2 rounds with a small bore. Hmm. Then we got rank 2 with spark, flash, and impulse. Triple tap, lightweight, feather mag, zen moment, and exhumed. Mm. Alright, this one comes with Firefly. Candle, Torch HS2. That one has an improved target improved target acquisition site. Impulse, Rescue Mag, Snapshot, Casket Mag, Firefly, and Surrounded. I do love Firefly. Surrounded, eh, is a hit or miss. Casket Mag to increase that mag site. Snapshot to just ADS as fast as you can and rescue mag hmm they both come with torch
either take the one that reduces your mag but it gives you increased range of stability or take the one that increases your mag and reduces your stability those are your two choices on these two well I'm taking the one with third eye even though it reduces the mag just having that uh, range of stability is, is worth testing but I'm not sure you may want to hold on to your orders I'm, I'm just gonna test it may be uh, worth it maybe not but just in case hold on to your order or Graph for marking parts. How's that feel? All right, field test weapons of the week. We got an auto rifle to make precision kills. We got a fusion rifle to use in the crucible. We got a hand cannon for double kills. Pulse rifle with uh, precision shots and a sniper rifle to use in the crucible. So we got two weapons to use in uh, PvP and three. And PVE, not bad, but let's check out the orders for next week. We got the Arminus D auto rifle again. We got the Soros DSI 43 scout rifle. We have Amon's Ufren HC4 hand cannon. The Herge D pulse rifle, nice. And the legendary Soros PDX 45. Hopefully, he drops some god rolls with that. Order of the PDX 45. I may it may be worth picking up two orders with two separate characters for that, just in case. But anyway, that brings this Arms Day loadout to an end. This is week what 31, April 19th, 2017. This is your Guardian Zeus for your Omega signing off. Hoping to catch you guys on the next one. But until then, eyes up, Guardian. See you next time.